English 5, author Gayane Gasparian, Armenian Comprehensive School Textbook, page 92. Hi, dear pupils. Today we are going to do a lot together. First, we'll practice the sound O, then we'll learn some new words, and finally, we'll read a nice fairy tale about the princess and the pea. Now let's practice the sound O in open and closed syllables. O, go, no, note, smoke, stone, spoke, so, soul, vote. O, tom, stop, sock, cost, clock, lot. Not. On. Now let's study the new words which we'll meet in our tale. Those are To rush To hurry To let in To allow A pee a mattress. Now let's go on and read our tale, The Princess and the Pea. Listen attentively and take notes. Years and years ago, a prince was not happy. What I want is a princess, he said, a real princess. He looked and looked for a real princess. He looked at this princess and that. No one was a real princess. One night, snow was falling fast. The prince looked out. Suddenly, he saw someone. He rushed to let her in. What do you want? he said. I am a real princess, she said. Let me in out of this snow. You, a princess, you don't look like a princess to me. The prince said to his mother, Can she be a princess, a real one? We'll see, said his mother. She rushed to a bed and put a pea in it. On top of the pea, she put one, two, Twenty mattresses. You can sleep in here. She helped the princess climb up on the big bed. What is it? said the princess. Can't you sleep? Oh, that bed, said the princess. Something is in it. Something big. I can't sleep. At last, a real princess. Only a real princess can fill a little pea with twenty mattresses on it, laughed the prince. He was a happy, happy prince. I hope you like the story. And now let's turn the page and do some classwork and homework. Classwork, page 93, exercise 1. Let's check up whether these statements are true or false. Years and years ago, a prince was very happy. Was he? Was he very happy? No, he wasn't happy. So this sentence is false. 2. He wanted a lot of gold. Did he? Did he want a lot of gold? No, he didn't. He wanted a real princess. This sentence is false again. 3. One night, he saw someone when he looked out of the window. Did he? Yes, actually. This is a true sentence. 4. The prince let the girl in. Did he? 
Did he let the girl in? Yes. Again, the sentence is true. Five. The queen rushed to the bed and put an apple in it. Did she? Did she put an apple in it in the bed? No, she didn't. She didn't put an apple in it. She put a pea. Six. On top of the apple, she put three mattresses. Hey pupils, what do you think of this? Yes, you're right. This is a false sentence. Actually, she put twenty mattresses on the pea. Seven. It was a real princess. Was it? Was it a real princess? Yes, actually, it was a real princess. Exercise two. Answer the questions. One. What did the prince want? Let's start our answer with the subject. The prince wanted a real princess. Two. Whom did he saw? He saw a girl. Three. What did she say? She said, "I am a real princess." Four. What did the prince's mother do? The prince's mother put a pea in a bed. Five. Who helped the princess climb up on the big bed? Pupils, here you should only drop away who, and place the answer. So, princess's mother, or the queen, helped the princess climb up on the big bed. Six. What happened then? The princess couldn't sleep in that big bed. Seven. Was the prince happy? Yes, he was. And why? Because he found a real princess at last. Homework. Exercises three, four, and five, page ninety-three. Exercise three. You should complete the sentences using the text. Exercise four. You should fill in the missing letters. Exercise five. You should write down the opposite of the words. For example, happy, unhappy, real, unreal, and so on. I hope you'll be able to do these sentences without much difficulty. Our lesson is over. Goodbye.